Do you play Tanya in Mortal Kombat 1? Well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and get into these cameos. One of my first cameo choices when playing Tanya is gonna be Frost, because Frost moves just go super good with Tanya and her moveset. Obviously we have the combo extension with her low freeze and what I love about that is Tanya has some good overheads that don't end in a low, but you can make them end in a low with Frost. Like Tanya's 4-2-1-1-2, that ends in an overhead, but you can do 4-2-1-1 and then Frost and make it a low instead. So your opponent expects the high or the overhead and then you're like, Psyche comes the low. So 4-2-1-1 and then Frost, freeze them and then do the same thing. Frost allows for good combo extension with Tanya and even better mix-ups. Really making your opponent guess how am I gonna block Tanya's moves and then not only that but I love using Frost's orb with Tanya's grab strings like to grab. You basically just pull your opponent into the freeze and then get a free combo off that. Or you can go over your opponent for the mix up So you throw the Frost orb out there then you go over your opponent. Now they got the orb to worry about and you to worry about on both sides and they gotta think how am I gonna block both of these. And you just go for the mix-ups. I just love what Frost brings to the table when playing Tanya, and I think she's a great option. The same, of course, can be said for using Sub Zero as a cameo with Tanya. Not necessarily the mix up game, but of course, the combo extension game. But a great tool that Sub Zero offers is, of course, making you projectile invulnerable, allowing you to do your down forward three and get those rings to help enhance your moveset and your gameplay, giving you better dash hits and those extra special moves. And with Sub-Zero making you projectile invulnerable, you can do your down forward three without the fear of being zoned out by your opponent. And that can be huge when playing Tanya. Another great option that I love using with Tanya is Scorpion as a cameo. We get awesome combo extension in the air, of course. We get a full screen reset armored pullback here, allowing us to do our down forward three to get our rings on. Again, enhancing our dashing moves and giving us extra special moves. The armor pullback is great because it creates that space that Tanya really needs in order to do that. Because a lot of the time, the fight can just be so fast paced that you don't have a lot of time to actually do that during the fight. Another thing that I love about Scorpion is giving you another overhead option. So we have our back two, three, and that's an overhead pop. And I like that. What I really like about that is Tanya has a back three, four, four combo that's all lows. And that's great, but it starts with the back three. And because it starts with that back three, your opponent might be expecting the back three low kick. But if they do block it, then you can just use Scorpion's forward cameo move go for the overhead that's a low overhead mix your opponent might not be expecting thus allowing you to combo off of it something just simple like this it just gives her more of a mix-up option especially trying to throw out lows there and they just keep getting blocked they might expect the lows and just throw out the overhead and then get a combo off of it i just think that tanya really benefits off of every single tool that scorpion offers and he can create some devastating stuff with the air combo continuation another great cameo that i love using is darius with tanya for the same reason i love using scorpion we get an awesome combo extension but also we get Darius's forward cameo overhead move, and that's great, you can do back three, four, four right there, thus creating a low overhead mix-up that's almost impossible to block, it's so quick and so fast. You're basically creating an impossible mix-up, and I love that. Makes your opponent really guess, how am I gonna block this? Plus, Tony's got great reach with her normals, and Darius's back cameo just goes great with that concept. So you're keeping really good reach with your cameo, you're getting an overhead mix-up option, and you're getting awesome combo extension. Darius, I think is just a really good option for a cameo when using Tanya. These are just my cameo recommendations when it comes to playing Tanya in Mortal Kombat 1, guys. Let me know down below who do you pair up with Tanya and why. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Take it one step at a time.